Game 15. All righty, this time let's go with English. And Catalan. Oh, H6. That's surprising. see what he plans on doing here because now I'm starting to to think that the dark squares are going to be weak in the long term and we're going to be able to take advantage of this okay this is kind of what I was hoping for with the whole dark square weakness situation. Now let's bone in the throat. You don't want to go this way with me, boss. And let's let him let him stew for a second. There's all kind of dirty here. Just let him walk into it. Okay. Nothing to see. Not yet. Bishop pair is good. And this was kind of position I was hoping for. So if bishop d5, knight takes, pawn takes. Bishop d5, if the queen goes anywhere else, I got bishop takes c6 and the rook on d8 falls. <clears throat> bishop takes c6, knight g4, rook e1, Queen takes h2. Bishop takes knight g4. Yeah. I don't like that. Let's go with my, my secondary choice. Just improve our position. Thought I had a tactical win there, but meh. Where are your guys going? You cannot hold everything forever. Okay, I'm very happy with my position. Gotta play faster. 46 seconds. H3 was played to play F4 to get the knight out of there. Play faster. You know what, I'm just going into this because I can play this very quickly. I don't have to worry about any night checks or anything like that.
1.1 seconds. Got to play a bit faster than that. Like, a little bit too much talking still. You guys are getting too good for me to be running my mouth so much. Okay, so. This was a weird game. H6. Doesn't do anything. Bishop D6. Definitely um, curious what that does. And I just decided to go with, you know, a typical type English position. Go after the bishop. He gives me the bishop, so now the thing is, like, about dark square hole weaknesses, the bishop's going to be bad on c8 forever. And once we get right here, I thought I just had a crushing position, and I'm looking for the tactic. <clears throat> so right here, I'm like, okay, bishop d5, knight takes, pawn takes, I win. And if the queen goes to, say, e7, I have bishop takes c6, pawn takes c6, queen takes d8, and I win. So queen h3, and I'm like, wow, this is now getting ridiculous because if bishop takes c6, knight g4, and if rook e1, queen takes h2, king f1, queen takes f2, mate, and I'm getting mated, so I don't want him to take my good bishop, so then I just swap gears and go to this, this better end game where I'm using all my pieces. So then you just want to trade down in a way that you're going to win something. And now I was starting to get worried about my time. And clearly time's going to be a factor in the upcoming games because I'm playing very slow. Um, we get to this rook and pawn in game. And I tried to not allow any counterplay. I got the 2-1 to one on the king side. I'm just going to try to work them. And then that's a good move. That's a really strong move because now it's undermining my rook and I've got to put everything on the g-pawn. And I've got less than 10 seconds here. My opponent had like twice that, but he gradually just doesn't put up the biggest threats here. He played b5. That cost me a second or two. And then the rest of this, you just have to pre-move when you're, you're down this low. So I was re I'd pre-moved like <laughs> you know, as many moves as I could, trying to get him into a mating net. All right, so that's another one. <laughs>